Hey folks, it's Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got another workbench video for my patrons. And uh, it's been a busy place since the last video. I, I made more space by moving my resin printers out of the way and uh, been doing all kinds of printing and painting and tinkering. So let's have a look and see what's on there this week. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of painting. Almost done with these terrain pieces. These are some of the favorite things I've worked on recently. I love putting different colored washes on and just seeing what happens and uh, improvising as I paint. Can't do that on a complicated figure model or something like this. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't have the skill to do that. I have to be so careful with these things. Uh, but on a piece of terrain, just... Put it on there, it's nature. Whatever ends up happening, it happens. And these, the way the washes and the dry brush bring out the details of the model is what I like. It's like, you don't have to paint it, you just enhance it, you just bring it out. <laughs> it's way more liberating than to me than trying to be so exact all the time. It's the same problem I had in art school. <laughs> I'm really happy with this one too, kind of the anatomical look to it. I tried to go for a little fleshy blood look here, but not gore. I'm not a big fan of gore, but I like my anatomy. Oh, and here is that Zirkwood mushroom. Really great print off my ender. And the, and the supports came right off. I mean, they weren't quite that easy, but they, pop, they popped right off. And the underside, look at it. It's like perfect. I finally worked out a few kinks I was having with that ender with the loose gantry. And another thing I added on there that was supposed to make the filament feed better, but actually made it worse. It was causing me some layer shifting and stuff. But anyway, I love this print and this filament. Hatchbox matte cement gray really hides the layer lines this 0.6 millimeter nozzle 0.12 layer lines the zirkwood turned out really cool I, the lore of it says that this is where the cave dwellers get their wood so I thought it'd be cool to put a woody texture on here which kind of matches up with the listener textures and also a wood texture on the trunk and these things turned out awesome <laughs> I actually use ZBrush's dynamic cloth um, feature to make these spores. Still working on a good hollow version of this. I, I got caught up trying to make hollow versions of all these for resin printers. And it seems like it might be a trivial thing on the computer, but to do it right and do it like I want is not easy. And I've been working on a new technique to do that. Uh, but so far, most of my experiments have failed. <laughs> I'm making progress, though. Oh, here's a preview of next month. Another terrain piece. This thing is awesome. I th this is another piece that was in my Crash Lander video game. And I've flown around this so many times in both the monitor and then in VR. I've... Worked on that game for years. So it's really fun to print it out and paint it. <laughs> I'm going to make a split version of this that can print very large. I think it would be pretty cool to have a big arch on the table like this. And this is printed surprisingly easily. It was just my own fault. I left a few hard to print areas that I didn't catch in ZBrush. But I can fix that on the next one. Also painted some of the trees from the, the prehistoric months there. They're coming along pretty cool. The trunks are great. Same technique on these so far. Just wash and, wash and dry brush. It's <laughs> my favorite one-two punch. Trying to get some various colors on them all. And I've also been working on those... Space Marines from the Indomitus box. I have them all assembled. 
got some paint on some of them decided on my colors green with a splash of orange and some other stuff really fun I was I was worried about assembling them and stuff but I really have enjoyed that quite a bit probably more than I am gonna be painting them they're so detailed I'm just gonna pick out the highlights and <laughs> make them look good enough I'm not planning anything fancy that's for sure yeah so I guess I guess that's what's on my workbench this week it's, it's been a busy week uh, creatively and also I've been working in our garden getting our yard worked up gardens half planted already it was a good it was a good month so thanks for watching patrons thanks for supporting me and uh, I'll see you next time on my workbench